left. Thanks, Judy. <laughs> uh, vlog buddies, it's Ross. And I am driving. I'm just in Beverly Hills right now. Look. Can you see? This is Beverly Hills. See? Anyway. We're just getting here now to Slimmons. People are like, excuse me. Slimmons Studio. People are seriously looking at me like crazy. So I have to scoot forward. Anyway, Slimmons Studio. I can't even focus. Richard Simmons. I'm coming, Richard. Richard, I'm coming! <laughs> anyway. I have? How have I arrived? Oh, crap. I'm on the wrong street. Judy! Mother Hubbard. All right, Vlog Buddies, I need to focus. One second. Vlog Buddies, hi. Hi, it's Russ. Okay, we made it. We parked. We're parked. It's right over there. So I'm going to go right now. Hopefully, I'm going to sneak you in. I'm going to sneak you in. And hopefully, I'll be able to turn you on. Now, listen, if I don't get to meet Richard, it's okay. It's okay. But this is about, you know what I mean. I got My highest rate was 230. And, and what happened in your life to make this transition? Because you look great. You really do look great. Thank you. I, I, well, okay. So I, I didn't know how to be healthy. I never learned. I never I had, I didn't have a sports gene or I had the musical theater gene. You know what I mean? So I didn't know how to do it. And then um, my father died. And about that, about a year later, Celebrity Fit Club came to me, the show on VH1 where, you know, people go and lose weight. And I thought, okay, now's the time. And I took it really seriously. Wow! Because I vlogged about coming here. But you didn't, you, you didn't bring them. I didn't bring them, but. We're like vlog lists. Lots funny. of them are listening. I'm filming it right now. Right filming now. what? I'm filming this. No, this is, you can't do that. Oh, That's I thought I did not ask if I could. You asked and we said no, and then you just put the camera oh. on. Oh. <laughs> is that, that how it went? That's how we saw it. Oh. <laughs> Oopsie. <laughs> um, and then my, my best friend Taya is listening because we listen together every Sunday. Let's call her. For real? I swear. Oh, okay. Come right down here. Okay, yes. Yeah, yeah. Tell you what's calling, honey. No, no, no. You don't get it. No, oh. you're not calling. I'm calling. You're calling. Okay. okay. But you have to write a number. Yeah. Do you have okay. a number? I have a number. Okay. Don't say it out loud. Oh, well. Because everyone's going to be calling her. Oh. And hey, I just, you know, she was so supportive during my weight loss. And I was honest with her every day I talked to her about how hard it was. And so I think it's really important to have a best Taya. friend who's Taya. in it with you, you know? Now, is, did Taya have to lose weight? or she? Was Taya's there? always been healthy. She's one of the people in my life who I looked towards when I was doing it as a role model. Mm -hmm. Do you know what that's how, what's happening? Oh, I think it's wonderful to have a role model. Yeah. Taya? Hello? Taya, it's for you. <laughs> Take the mic. Can I do it? Take it. How weird is this, Taya? I am uh, running around my apartment. This is amazing. <laughs> 
how, how are you today, Tara? I'm, I'm fine, thank you. How are you? How, how did it feel to be such a great support system for Ross? And he said that you've been his role model and inspiration. Well, I have to say, he's been a role model right back. Just to say, um, he showed me what um, a huge struggle it is, both emotionally and physically, to have the courage to um, take care of yourself and have the commitment to it. It was just an inspiration to see him and to see the transformation he's made. Just now, have you, have, you, no, have you seen him in person yet? Yes, I have. That is really amazing. You know, he's trying to look like a little Abercrombie Fitch ad. No! no he has a Wait, <laughs> he has on this tight, tight red t-shirt to the cranberry. <laughs> then he has this white shirt with stripes on it. It's tight, tight, tight. I think it's from the little boys department. No, I don't think so. Because for real, he looks like a Abercrombie Fitch. <laughs> Can you tell us a little, you know, we've never met Ross. And they came in here and, and he sort of sparkled and lit up our place. But we don't know too much about him. And, you know, the only other person that I remember acting like this was Charles Manson. <laughs> it scares me a bit. No. Um, For real? Yeah, well, yeah, you know, we, I think, he, I don't know, serial killer eyes, I see no. <laughs> Because now I, we have to move on and call some people. But thank you so much for getting on the phone. And Ross, you have 20 seconds. 20 seconds? Just to talk? No, just to her. What do you want to say? Oh, Taya, I love you, honey. This is all going to be in the blog. Isn't this the weirdest thing in the world? <laughs> I always say in the blog, anything you want to happen, you can make it happen. And here we are on your show, which is so weird. <laughs> 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 Oh my god. Oh my god. Taya? Oh my god. Taya! Yes? We got on Richard Simmons' radio show. I... It was, it was so surreal and then I talked to him and I talked to you and then I hung up and then I ran around my apartment like eight times just pooping out. What the hell? Pooping out. Taya, it, can you believe that? I don't know. I'm I really looking for this guy because I am just like... I, I really feel like I'm walking on air all day. I was in there for two hours. The show's three hours. I'm like, I, I have to leave. I, I have to leave because I got stuff to do. And so I just went up at the commercial break and I go, Richard, I, I have to leave. And he goes, oh, sure. You come in and take pictures and video. And he, he gave me like a hard time, but he was so nice about it. And then he took oh. my hand and he kissed my hand and put it against his head and said, thank you for coming. And I said, I'll be back next time. He does everything and more. Everything and more. And I'm sitting there, and I'm holding a microphone, and Richard Simmons is in front of me, and I'm on the radio show, and then all of a sudden, your voice is there, and I was like, I love that I live in this world. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs>